On the way to being free. It's been a while since I last used an HTC smartphone as my daily driver, and while I'm certainly not the first to do a video on the U Ultra, I still wanted to try it out for myself and give you all my opinion on the device. Now this video is by no means a full review, but just my opinion after using the HTC U Ultra for 48 hours. Kicking things off with the build quality, HTC is well known for its amazing build quality, and the U Ultra is no exception. Instead of an all metal body like the One M9 or One M10, HTC opted in to use a glass and metal combo, and it looks and feels like a solid premium device. Unfortunately, having an all glass back has its drawbacks, and as you can see from this shot, the device is a fingerprint magnet. Luckily, HTC included a free clear case inside the box, but after two days of using it, it's already scratched up. Now, since HTC is touting this as a flagship device, the hardware inside is somewhat flagship-like. Inside, there's a Snapdragon 821 chip, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, USB-C with fast charging, a 12 megapixel camera in the back, which is actually really good, better than the G6 in my opinion, a higher 16 megapixel camera in the front, and a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now up front is a 5.7 inch LCD display, and a secondary screen for your favorite apps and contacts or toggles. It's pretty much a ripoff of LG's V10 and V20's secondary screen. Now I personally like it since I can launch my favorite apps right away without adding those icons to my main home screen, but that's really it, I don't really use the other features that's meant for the secondary screen. The display itself looks good, it's vibrant, it's sharp, it's great for watching videos, but for the past few weeks I've been using the LG G6 and I've gotten used to the taller, almost bezel-less display. The U Ultra's 5.7 inch is good, but there's nothing here that we haven't seen before. Now in terms of overall performance, the U Ultra is extremely fast, with similar specs to most modern smartphones. It'll go toe to toe with the G6 or the S8, so anything you throw at this, it'll be able to handle those tasks just fine. So overall, it's a good performing smartphone, but there are just some things that I didn't like. One, there's no headphone jack. It's a pretty big phone, so I don't know why there's no headphone jack. Number two, the fingerprint reader and capacitive buttons are tiny and are off center, which I don't really like. It's got a huge chin, so I'm not sure why it had to be small. And last but not least, now this isn't a huge deal breaker, but the U Ultra doesn't have wireless charging, despite it having a glass back. Why? Seems like a poor use of space. I personally don't think nor consider the U Ultra a flagship device since it's missing some of the fundamentals of a 2017 flagship smartphone. I'm hoping for another HTC smartphone down the road that can compete with the G6 or S8, but only time will tell if that'll actually happen. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.